Good morning, my friends. Welcome to Forex with KS. Today is 27th of August, Friday. Let's check out the intro first. Disclaimer, be advised that I am not a professional financial consultant or advisor. I am sharing this information for education purpose only. Any opinions, news, research, analysis, prices, or other information contained on this video is my own opinion and does not constitute investment advice. I will not accept liability for any loss or damage, including without limitation to any loss of profit, money, asset or any valuables which may arise directly or indirectly from use of information in this video. Okay, let's take a quick look at the calendar, at the news. So what happened yesterday night? Yesterday night or US, yeah, if you are in US, it's uh, morning, right? Uh, so the GDP actually dropped, uh, uh, not dropped, it's up. Okay, it's still better than previous uh, quarter, but only uh, it's below expectation, 6.7, not too bad. Okay, since it's since it's still better than uh, previous data, right? Previous uh, report, right? So it's still not bad. Okay, but uh, unemployment claims did, uh, didn't do so well. Uh, okay, unemployment claims went up. So also uh, today, okay, we got this. Uh, uh, this uh, Jackson Hole. Symposium, right? Okay, so all the central, all the bankers are meeting. Uh, okay, also we will have, uh, we will have a uh, Fed chair Jerome Powell speak. So today will be uh, quite volatile for USD. Uh, okay, so we also have a uh, retail sales for AUD and uh, and uh, uh, price index. Okay, core PC price index for USD and also a uh, University of Michigan uh, consumer sentiment, right? So there is some volatility today uh, for USD. Uh, so watch out. Uh, okay, so let's. Uh, Take a quick look at the chart. So USD gained some strength uh, today. Okay, gained some strength today uh, due to the okay uh, quite not to say positive but better than expected. Uh, I mean uh, better than previous quarter GDP, right? So uh, slightly stronger. Okay, but but price haven't break through this support one, right? So the price is still having a lot of selling pressure. Uh, okay, because it's still below this support one area, this area, right? So market is still uh, considered quite weak, okay, not not as strong. So this one looks like a selling pressure. There is still selling pressure at support one, huh? okay. Once you cannot grow through, is it would probably go down to support two and support three, okay. Still, still, okay. We are waiting for a retracement towards support two for a buy opportunity or retracement to support three for a buy opportunity, huh? okay. All the price could break through. Uh, uh support one ninety three four five one. Retest and resumption, okay, then possible, okay, there's a buy opportunity here, right? Okay, let's look at uh, Euro USD. Okay, Euro USD is at uh, consolidating and uh, resistant too, uh, okay, so we don't we don't see a very uh, bearish price action over here. Generally, we have this pin bar, all right, all right, over here, so does. Buying momentum is still quite strong, uh, so we haven't seen any uh, uh, selling opportunity yet. Okay, this one we can see, of course. Okay, this one we want to continue to sell. Uh, okay, the long term idea is continue to sell. So, one possibility to sell is from resistant one, a uh, resistant two. Sorry, okay. We see a bearish price action and resistant, uh, bearish price action and resistant two possible sell opportunity, or a bearish price action and resistant three. Okay. Possible sell opportunity here. Yes, DGPY. Yes, this is still in the sideways price section. Nothing much to do. AUD USD. So AUD USD looks like uh, is it a bearish engulfing? Yes, it is. It is a bearish engulfing. Uh. Not really engulf. Yeah, it's a bearish engulfing candle. Okay. So this one, looking at this bearish engulfing candle, there could be a possible uh, sell opportunity here, okay, 
to words are resistant one. Zero point seven one five nine. Ah, okay. So there's a possible sell opportunity over here on this bearish engulfing candle, right? So possible sell opportunity towards resistance one. Zero point seven one five nine zero. USD cat. Okay, USD cat. Bullish engulfing. So engulfing candle, right? It's not very. It's not that. Uh, 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 engulfing candle at a support area, right? Sometime, uh, okay, the, when the engulfing candle is too big, right? You don't have enough room uh, to trade, uh, okay? Like this one, right? You don't have enough risk and reward room to trade. So this one, no doubt, is an engulfing candle. So there's a, there is a possible, uh, a possible buy opportunity towards support one, right? But the, but the risk and reward uh, gap is too small. Uh, the window is too small, okay? So this one, uh, no doubt, there's a bullish signal. So uh, I'm not taking this. Okay, I'm not taking this because I uh, don't have enough uh, risk and reward ratio. Look at pound USD. Pound USD, another bearish engulfing candle. Uh, okay, it looks like price coming down. Once the price, if the price can break through resistance one, right, R one. Uh, okay, so there's a possibility to sell towards here. Support one. One point three six zero four. Okay, bearish and golfing. Uh, okay, so there's a sell up. There's opportunity over here, and uh, okay, opportunity over here. Okay, AUD USD, uh, pound USD, NZD USD. Okay, uh, similar bearish and golfing candle. Okay, so if the price can go through re resistance one, right? Okay, it can go through resistance one. Okay. And close below resistance one uh, at at least four hour right. So there's a possible sell opportunity towards uh, support one zero point six eight zero five uh. So go is in a no man's land inside the pink box here. No man's land. Uh, SPI SPI drop a little bit uh, Okay, SPI drop a little bit. Um, Look like bearish and golfing. Uh. Look like this one not so good. Uh. Okay, this one might want to close the trade first. Okay, doesn't look so good. We got an engulfing candle. So uh, if you guys really open the trade, possible want to close the trade first. Okay, doesn't look so well. Look at Dex. Dex also uh, drop, uh, okay. Dex also drop. No, no more, no continuation momentum. Okay, this one. Okay, possible close the trade first. Okay, doesn't look so nice. Okay, wait for I think wait for a proper a proper retracement towards support two. Okay, a rebound over here is I think it's a better opportunity. Next tech, okay, next tech coming back to retest resistance one, right? So we are waiting for opportunity to to buy at resistance one, uh, okay? A rebound at resistance one. Or, okay, the, the price break, came back rebound, continuation, and break above this high, right? One, two, three, top, uh. Uh, one, two, three, continuation, right? Okay. Okay, so this one, the... Dow Jones, huh? Okay, Dow Jones price broke up. Okay, we took a buy trade, but the price coming back to retest. Okay, so if the price come back to retest, ah, uh, it goes below three five one point two eight. It it shouldn't be, uh, It shouldn't close uh, below three five one point two eight. Maybe slightly lower. Okay, three five zero point six two, ah. Okay, maybe this area, this are uh, this are uh, uh, highlighted area, right? So hopefully this does, doesn't go go through. Okay, if it goes through, right, then possible you want to cut loss. Okay, one to a uh, closer, three five zero, three five zero four five. Uh, okay, if it goes below three point three five zero four five in a uh, daily close, uh, then this one uh, could be a, uh, could be a, uh, a reversal. Uh, okay, because now we are uh, have to be a bit careful uh, because a lot of uh, hear, hearing a lot of rumors talking about US. Okay, may have a, uh, may have a crash. Uh, okay, so this one be a uh, bit careful. 
Okay, SPS broke through the top, come back down. So this is the false break, right? So all this doesn't look very strong, uh, okay? So most be very careful with the uh, index, okay? Be very careful with the index, uh. So this one not not supposed to come back down, uh, okay? One three, one two three continuation, uh, one two three continuation, right? Okay, so this one should just retest on resistance one, uh, not coming down, uh, okay? So we, if we close below, then maybe we want to close the trade first. Uh, okay, this one doesn't look so good. Bitcoin, Bitcoin's uh, doing uh, some correct, having some correction, just continue to hold. Ethereum also having correction. Litecoin also having correction. SRP also, so this one just continue to hold it. Okay, that's it for today. Remember, subscribe to my channel. Okay, don't miss uh, my video and make sure you press the like. Okay, smash the like button. We want to push up the like a little bit so that this is uh, this is healthy for the Google uh, YouTube algorithm. And so share this with your friend and you know, any of your friend or any in the chat group or Telegram or any group that uh, uh, that you you have a uh, uh, friends uh, who likes trading. Right, do share it with them. Okay, and remember check out my Twitter forex with KS. Huh? Okay, so uh, that's it for today. Happy weekend. See you again on tomorrow. Uh. Okay, tomorrow we'll do a weekly forecast. Okay, see you. Bye-bye.